Get this, the World Health Organization now classifies the low-calorie sweetener aspartame as a possible carcinogen. Now, it's used in several sodas, as you well know, but it's also found in ice cream, chewing gum, and cereal. Despite the new classification, however, the agency did not change its recommendation on daily intake, which remains at 40 milligrams of aspartame per kilogram of body weight. The WHO released a statement saying, quote, while safety is not a major concern at the doses in which it's commonly used, potential effects have been described that need to be investigated by more and better studies. Anahad O'Connor joins us now. He is a health columnist who writes about food and nutrition for The Washington Post. So, First off, just what's new about this? Because we've known about the dangers, potentially, of large dosages of aspartame for years. Is there something that prompted this in particular? Yeah, so there's been decades of rumors and speculation and concern about aspartame, and in particular, its risk to cancer. But there have been a couple new uh, studies of late, some observational studies and some animal studies that have raised new concerns. And so the World Health Organization decided to take another fresh look at aspartame. And there's actually two committees at the World Health Organization that ruled in with sort of conflicting opinions. Um, IARC is one agency that said that um, aspartame has the potential to cause cancer, specifically liver cancer. And then another expert committee on additives said that it actually doesn't seem to <laughs> cause any potential harm and it seems to be right. safe. So conflicting opinion there. That's well, part then, of the, that's part of the trouble with and all of exa this. Exactly. So what do we do with this information? Because uh, as we mentioned, the WHO didn't change its recommendation for our daily intake. So break down for us where, where are all the places you can find this and how much we should have. So aspartame has been around for decades, and it has really exploded in our food supply, in part because there's so much concern about added sugars or, you know, real sugars in foods. So companies have been taking sugar out of food and replacing it with artificial sweeteners like aspartame. And so you can find it in the mainstays like Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi and Diet Root Beer, but also even toothpaste and puddings wow. and popsicles. And it's in essentially 95% of all um, sweetened beverages, you know, all these diet drinks. And so anything labeled low sugar or low calorie or sugar free may actually contain aspartame or another artificial sweetener. So you bring up other artificial sweeteners. It seems like in recent years, there's been a, a movement towards Splenda, uh, which is sucralose. Mm. Uh, there's also some other artificial sweeteners as well as some natural sweeteners like agave that we, we see increasingly uh, in things. Do we know anything about whether one is better than another? Uh, how, how do they all compare? Yeah, so I think there's a few things to take away here. So number one, the World Health Organization earlier this year actually said that, you know, the reason most people turn to artificial sweeteners is because they're low or zero calorie and they do it in part to help control their weight. But the World Health Organization said that there's really no good evidence that these things actually help you control your weight. Mm. And there's potential for, you know, harms. Um, even, you know, the cancer link, there's a lot of debate about that and it's not entirely clear, but there's other potential harms. Like there's an increased risk of diabetes. Um, it can uh, affect your appetite and hormones. There's evidence that it can, you know, potentially affect your gut microbiome in a negative way. And so the World Health, Health Organization says that, you know, generally people should not use artificial sweeteners and you should try to eat real foods, um, whole foods and less uh, ultra processed foods. And, and that's a really important point here is that regardless of exactly, you know, whether it's causing cancer or increasing the risk of these various harms, if a food has aspartame or other artificial sweeteners, that's a pretty good indication that it's ultra processed. And most nutrition and health experts say that we should be eating fewer ultra processed foods because there are all sorts of links between ultra processed foods and obesity and weight gain and diabetes and all these health harms. So there's probably a lot of reasons why you should cut back on aspartame and other artificial sweeteners. Well, that's what it sounds like. Despite some of the confusion, generally speaking, it's a good idea to eat less processed foods yeah. as fresh as it can be is always a good idea. Uh, Anahad O'Connor, thanks for joining us and helping us understand this a bit better from San Francisco. Thanks today. so much for having me.